Kitchen. going on guys drones and dogs here welcome back to the channel all right you guys if you haven't read the title it's time for another smooth unboxing you guys let's go ahead and get right into this now i found this guy on amazon and it's going excuse me it just came this box is wet it's actually raining outside right now you guys so it's gonna be a real quick smooth unboxing. Not too sure if I'll be able to get this guy out today, but I'll definitely try to get it out in the next day or so. But let's take a look at this guy. Now I was kind of interested with this guy because it said that this guy does 35 kilometers per hour. Now, it doesn't mention that on the box, but I know this is completely a toy gray vehicle because it has um it has the bang bang steering, so it doesn't have the steering trim on the transmitter, it has the steering trim underneath. Here's the model number for this guy. And our Amazon has said it was made by, what was the company name? I can't think of what the company name was. was um, but right here on the box, it says Lightning Sports. I will put a, a link below for this guy. It says Lightning Sports, 118 scale, radio control, ready to run, Lightning Sports, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, four wheel drive, electric, guys. So here's the RC right here. A nice looking little buggy and it was like 29 like 30 bucks so i figure for that 30 dollar price what can we get off amazon for the little cheapo now let's see what we can do and see what this guy has to offer let's go ahead and just pop this box open you guys don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell if you haven't already so you guys don't miss more content more videos just uh believe me I'll be hitting guys with the bangers. I'll be hitting you with the bang, bang, bangs. With the, the, the exclusive, the exclusive unboxing, drones, all that, RCs, whatever you want to call it. Your boy been putting it down. So right here, we're automatically right now greeted with the instruction manual. <laughs> it's a little tiny basic instruction manual, the basic operation of the products. It's showing you what the transmitter do, all that stuff. It takes about two and a half hours to charge it. Playing time about 10 minutes, range is about 30 meters, and you get a 7.4 volt, 500 milliamp hour battery, shows the vehicle there, nice. Shows how to put the vehicle in, how to charge it, nice. The x Knight is what they call this guy, huh? The x Knight Extreme Buggy, that's what they're calling it. Okay now, pal, okay now, pal. So, at least it has a name, the x Knight. I just thought for the price, guys. Ooh, look at that. I thought for the price, you really couldn't beat it. You know what I'm saying? 30 bucks, Amazon. Now, I think this guy was on sale. I think the original price was like 50 bucks or something like that. For a little buggy, I thought I'd give it a shot. Give it a shot. Try it out. Give it a shot. So, what is this? For the cheap price, it seems to be packaged really well. All the package, the packaging is really nice and tucked away in there. So here's our charger, charger and the battery. We have a screwdriver, a little Phillips screwdriver there. Here's our charger. One of them goofy four, four prong chargers that you get right here. Where you get a LED indicator on the charger letting you know when the battery is fully charged. And here is that little battery, guys. It's a tiny little guy. A little 500 milliamp hour battery with this connector 500 milliamp hour battery so check that out there here is our transmitter here yeah they, they got this guy secure no whoopsie daisies during packaging huh so we got an on and off switch there guys on and off switch there we already know we need two AA batteries. Gonna put it in underneath there. The screwdriver is four, and yeah, look at that, you hear that? Listen, 
that bang bang steering. You got an LED indicator right there. Transmitter looks pretty nice. And at least from the looks of it, it matches the car. I love it when they match it up. At least it matches the car. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's going to be proportional throttle or not. We'll find that out. But it's a little transmitter. It's not too big and bulky, but it fits pretty decent in the hand. So especially if you're going to get this for a kid, this is going to fit perfectly in the hand for a kid. And this is pretty much what they're aiming this at. Yeah. So that shouldn't be too bad there. Look at the RC there tucked underneath. So, yeah, we're going to have to snip that out. Let me snip that out. Right here. here is the RC car. Oh, that's empty now. So that's empty. The box is completely empty. And there we have it. So, here's all our contents of the box. Remote, like I said, matches the car really well. I like that. Um, check this out the battery. You have screwdrivers. Dogs are going crazy in the background. They're outside right now. So, we are in the studio, guys. We are in the studio. Drums and dogs. Yeah, so here are all the contents are here laid before you guys. Batteries, screwdriver, charger. So let's take a quick look at this vehicle real quick. Tower compound is actually pretty decent. It's actually pretty soft. Softer than I thought. They actually kind of feel just like the WL Toys tire. This looks almost like the uh, A9... What is it? The A959, but it's nothing like that. It's not going to be hard. Right, like I had that. to They're pause for a brief moment. But yeah, this guy, even though it looks like a lot, kind of like, looks like the W Toys A9, was it A959, that little buggy that they have, but this is completely more aimed at kids, you know, so it's going to be more on the toy greatest side. Here's your steering trim underneath there. Here's your battery bay right there where you're going to put the battery at. There's an on and off switch underneath there, guys. Um, like I said, the tire compound feels pretty decent. For 30 bucks, though, this car actually looks pretty cool. They doesn't have your traditional body pans. They have like some little plastic little clips here. And um, I mean, you really you could take that off, but there's really nothing. Everything is like protected from the tops, it looks like. So, I mean, there's really no need to take this off, but you can. But taking the little clips off. That body looks really cool, though. And there is some protective plastic coating on this body. So you can peel off this little plastic coating protection film on top of the body. But I'm going to leave that on for the first run or two to keep this body shell. This thing does not want to come off. It's on there. To keep this body shell pretty much good for our first run or two. This thing is on there, guys. So look, this thing is on there. But you can see pretty much looking on there. This guy just, I don't want to too much tear this body up trying to get it up off of there but uh you can kind of see underneath there everything is pretty much covered up and protected i mean you could probably possibly take them screws out if you really needed to get to something so you know it's probably a really tiny little 180 motor in there or something like that if i had to guess but they're claiming this thing does 35 kilometers per hour which is kind of interesting you know what i'm saying so kind of see if it has the proportional Throttle, I know it doesn't have the proportional steering. We know that. But, yeah, this thing looks cool. The colors of it looks pretty cool. Look at that. The aggressive looks of it looks pretty cool. So, I think any kid would enjoy that. It has a nice little wing on the back. It says action on the wing, you guys. So, I'm kind of actually excited to try and just test and see how this little guy is going to perform. Especially, you know, being only 30 bucks, you guys. So, I think that's going to wrap this guy up. Oh, yeah, this guy was branded under the Fancy Petty. It was under the Fancy Petty RC car, even though it says Lightning Sports on the box. But it is what it is. And then it says x Knight on the instructions. So it is what it is, guys. We're going to get this battery charged up in the next day or so. Hopefully, we can get it running this evening. We'll get it running this evening. This is such a small battery. It shouldn't take too long to charge. But uh, it's actually wet and rainy and stuff out right now. But... That's a quick look at this bad boy. I'm your boy, Drone the Dogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next episode. I am out. Deuces.